Especially in, in professional football, we see strength exhibited in a lot of ways. It's usually external, and that's what people refer to. But to me, quiet strength is what comes from the inside. And that, it's that strength of purpose, it's that strength of character that, uh, that you get from something internal. And to me, it comes from the spirit. And knowing that, that God is in control of things, and it gives you the strength to move forward and persevere and stay true to what you believe, and to me, that's the most powerful strength of all. Over the last 30 years, I've uh, coached and played in the National Football League and been around some tremendous people. Uh, I've learned a lot about football. I've learned a lot about life. And in the last five or six years, uh, several of the people that I've worked with have said, you ought to write a book. I never wanted to do that. Uh, I'm a very private person, and I didn't want to necessarily put myself out in the spotlight didn't want to come across as a person who seemed like they had all the answers. But after we won the Super Bowl, I got a couple of cards uh, in the mail from people who saw our post-game uh, celebration. And they saw me on the victory stand, uh, really just with a short message about how important Christ had been in my life. And I began to realize, uh, as I read some of these cards, that people saw a sports figure who wasn't afraid to acknowledge Christ, and they took great encouragement from that. Uh, after, after reading those cards, then I began to think a little differently about writing a book, that maybe I could give someone uh, the encouragement that they needed uh, to really turn their hearts over to Christ, and that was really the motivation for writing Quiet Strength. I think no matter where the Lord places you, you have an impact on that, that community or that environment. And it can be something as public as the Super Bowl, or it can be something as private as a one-man job that you're doing uh, helping anyone. Uh, people look at the way you do your business, uh, the way you handle yourself, and you have an impact on one person at a time. And, uh, I think you can use that philosophy of showing how the Lord works in your life, and you can impact millions, or you can impact that one person that you have personal contact with. One of the things I've, I've found out about the Lord is He doesn't always give us smooth sailing. He doesn't always give us downhill rides on our bicycles. Uh, sometimes we have to pedal uphill. Sometimes we have to go through some very, very tough times. And I think that's what really defines our strength. That's what defines our character, how we react to those tough times. And we can't react to them with our individual strength. Uh, it has to be what's inside. It has to come from the Lord. And uh, to me, that's what really having a quiet strength is all about, understanding it's not my power, but it's that quiet strength of the Lord.